do you expect to be the biggest differences, not just roster-wise, but anything with the next year's squad versus this year's team? The expectations are probably going to be a lot lower. I mean, this was a team that had a new coach and a new manager, I mean, Matt Williams, and, uh, you know, they, as the season progressed, they overcame some injuries, and, and then they were the World Series favorite. They were the darling of the National League. I think expectations are going to be a little bit lower. Um, it's going to be tough for them to be as successful as they were, were this year. They're not going to have LaRoche, more than likely. The, the bullpen is, is not going to have Soriano. And he played, he played great for the Nationals in the first half of the year. There's no denying that. So they may be a little bit thinner in that department. Expectations will be a bit lower. They'll make the playoffs. Everything will be good. But I, I, I really do think we're on the cusp of this team not necessarily breaking hearts and, and causing some jaded fans, but I, I don't think they're going to have as much hype going going forward next season as they did this year. So you expect them almost to take a step back or just with expectations? I think they're going to take a slight step back only because it's very difficult to continue doing what they did this year. But, but, the, but the expectations will be a little bit lower, too. They're not going to be the World Series favorite, I don't believe. Right. And I think the fans won't anoint them as World Series favorites until they start to win some playoff games, some playoff series. But remember, they were World Series favorites this year after not making the playoffs last year. Yeah, they were, and, and, but I think it's going to be a little bit lower this time around. Marissa, yeah, what do you think? i got to disagree with you. All right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the expectations are going to be very high. I think people are, you know, coming down now because of the, the playoff performance. But you compare that, you know, those four games to the entire season, I mean, the Nationals played great the entire season. We got some, um, you know, I, th I think the big thing is, is trying to maintain uh, Ezreal Cabrera. Mm -hmm. I think uh, if they can keep him, that would be a really good idea. LaRoche, I don't think, is as important. I, I think LaRoche is great, but I think Zimmerman can fill in great, you know, and I think he'd make a, a great first baseman, and, and he's a clutch it's hitter. Healthy. If healthy. Yeah, better bat. You have to assume LaRoche is on his way out. It's interesting you mentioned the second base. That's a, a question with that between question Espinosa and Cabrera. Yeah. And Cabrera wants to play shortstop, but you know, it's his natural position. It'll yeah, be but he has, he has said as well that he would play second base to stay with the Nats. Right. He well, likes he, right. yeah, he likes being here and I think he he seems to fit in well and I think that's one of the the best parts of the Nats is sort of the the sort of morale that exists in that locker room. It seems like all the guys get along and there's not necessarily a, a diva on the team that, that wants to take the whole spotlight. I know the media sometimes, you know, throwing ourselves under the bus, sometimes throws the spotlight on certain players right. a lot. But Does it rhyme with Mice Marper? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he showed up in the postseason, one of he the did. few guys he to. Yeah. Can't knock him for that. Keith, do you, what do you think of, about the uh, the expectations question? I'm, I, this has kind of turned into a tiebreaker now, which it wasn't intended. But do you agree that they're yeah, going to be lower than last year, or do you th do you no think pressure. that they'll be you know pretty high again based on the core of the team returning? I think it would be good if the expectations were lower because I, I think the the pressure of failing now two, two out of the past three seasons in the playoffs it you know puts a lot of pressure on them going into the season. As for will the expectations be lower, it's hard to say because it's still, I'm going to say no or, or slightly because they're still loaded. They're going to lose LaRoche, most likely, move Zimmerman in at first base. If they are able to keep Cabrera, it gives them not only a, a, a set lineup, but they have lineup flexibility, mm -hmm. which means if, if Ian Desmond is hurt, you can move Cabrera over to short mm -hmm. and put Espinosa in. If you know, Rendon can play second, Zimmerman can play the outfield, they have Tyler Moore who's, who will be off the bench, can play first. They have lineup flexibility, they have a deep pitching staff. I think within maybe real knowledgeable baseball circles, people will still count this as a team that has a chance to win the World Series. Anything can happen once you get in the postseason. Uh, we've, we've learned that. But locally, Probably the expectations will be dialed back a little bit just because you've had the heart broken. Now be the, two there won't be times. the willingness to jump on and say, yes, Basically. anoint the team. Hey, I get that. Now you got to see it in the postseason. You say you, they could win 100 games right. in, in the regular season. You say, that's great, but let me see something in, in the I, playoffs. I actually tend to agree with you guys just based on the fact that the starting rotation is going to come back. And that's mm -hmm. the best rotation in baseball. I mean, with that, that gives them the, the early... Um, sort of favorites in the division at a minimum. And you said sure. that you thought they'd win the, go to the playoffs Absolutely. anyway. So we'll, we'll have to see. 